Now we're ready to hook the winch up to the vehicle. Uh, this particular model is a Warren winch, 3,700 pound. Um, that's going to work just fine for pretty much any car or truck. Um, pickup truck like this, you're going to load on a vehicle, it's not going to have any problem. Um, what we're going to do instead of using the power source to back the cable out, we're going to flip this lever up and we're going to free spool, which means it'll let the gears in here turn free so we can just pull the cable out the length we need it and attach it to the vehicle. It's best when you're attaching the cable to the vehicle if you can find a center point on the vehicle. That way, if you would have damage to a wheel or anything like that, um, when it pulls the vehicle on the trailer, it's going to try to keep the vehicle in the center of the trailer. On this particular car, we're going to wrap the cable around the K-frame or the engine cradle, which obviously is a very strong point. After we do that, we're going to bring it back inside the cable in this hook. Now one thing you want to keep in mind, this lever is supposed to hold that cable in, but you usually pull them once and they don't work too well. You can use a rubber band, um, piece of tape, I use a small bungee cord like this, and I'm going to wrap this around the cable and the hook, because whenever we're pulling that vehicle up, if there's any slack, you don't want the hook to fall off and all of a sudden your vehicle comes off the trailer unexpectedly. So I'm going to put this cable in here. We would have this close to the frame. Then I'm going to wrap the cable to the hook. Secure it. Now we're ready to go. It can't fall off.